time to dive into the world of the OCG side stories. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. Now this is actually kind of cool to be talking about right now because we just saw the end of the OCG Sky Striker manga, which was dubbed the OCG Stories. Now, for those of you that don't remember, you know, this happening, well, you know, this is where Sky Striker is getting this infinite fodder of uh, support along the way, and uh, while well, you see every TCG player complaining, oh my god, just stop the Sky Striker support, stop it, it's stupid, and yeah, that's uh. The same actual thing, but the reason why Sky Striker was getting all of this, you know, love was because it was a manga. You know, Sky Strikers, as, as much as you don't want to believe or hear these words, fan favorite themes and things will sell. It's called capitalizing on, you know, making free money. All right, so the OCG said, hey, you know, we need to come up with some sort of we need to explore these things because they've been exploring the art of the monster series for a little uh, while it's where basically konami realizes at this point in time actually i think the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise as a whole realizes that you know Yu-Gi-Oh is just much more than it was you know 20 years ago at this point in time you know you have these monsters you're telling stories about these monsters, you know, these monsters, these these creatures, they, they, there's all these stories. This game has built its own lore, like the Yu-Gi-Verse as a whole went through how many animes at this point in time, and that's why they chose Sky Striker as the, the first, believe it or not, there's more to come here, that's actually the point of making this video today was... Um, the next OCG side stories is supposed to be announced at the upcoming Jump Festa. And I know, I know, yes, no more Sky Striker support. Konami's finally done with that wretched theme. All right, like, we're, it's done, you know, it was a cool, I guarantee you, not anybody in here read that, that manga at all. Uh, not a single person. I think I saw first two chapters and I haven't got the chance to read any more of it unfortunately but it did span over three chapters you also know that we have another manga that actually tells the story of like a Yu-Gi-Oh player like actually playing the game it, the Yu-Gi-Oh what is it OCG store no it's not the OCG store it's, it's uh it's I know they had like kite show up you know you get the chance to see all these little themes like you actually it's it's really cool to actually see this guy who plays the game write the stories and the excitement you know of getting max seed and seeing the immense disappointment that you can kind of go through and then you know trying to come back from it like that's the kind of stuff that you like to see in the game it's that level of excitement that makes people excited so you gotta you gotta keep that in mind at this point in time that that was the feel that they were going for from that so back to the ocg stories um it's important to note that because the yugi verse has expanded so much and we're telling all these individual stories that now we can get into the more niche side of things so now that sky striker is done where do we go from here? Well, there's been a lot of talk of people wanting more Fallen of Albaz lore. Believe it or not, all right? The Fallen of Albaz lore, for how big that story was, I would love to actually see it, you know, come to life and actually be a manga. But I don't think it's going to happen. Um, and before you're like, wait a minute, why wouldn't they want to, you know, capitalize on that, you know, tell a story about Fallen of Albaz and things like that. The problem is the story has already been told, you know, with, with the way Sky Striker and things were setting up, you know, you got the lore of, it was, you know, two people from, what was it? Opposite countries, I believe it was fighting and all of this, I believe that was the initial lore that people had kind of put together from the lore books, but the story was flushed out. So, okay. So... Where else do we go from here? Um, I haven't really had a lot of time to think about that, actually. Um, 
I would also love to see, as contrary to popular belief here, I would I would very much love to see a Burning Abyss story. I think a lot of people would be extremely excited to see that as well. But once again, I I don't. You're based on lore, and it's not really much of a you know flushed out type of thing. Um, I don't know. I know there's a lot of ums and hums here, but I looking at things, I would love to see more of like the labyrinth story, you know. We have we have somebody falling into the labyrinth that we haven't really seen really too much of out here. Also, it has to be whatever they choose to explore for this, um, it has to engage with the audience. Um I would love uh, actually, a, a charmer side story would be really, really cool. But I feel like at that point you're just exploring into dual terminal lore because you have you know the the side push in through Gishki. You have the exploration through um, what was it, um, the Ritual Beast as well. That'd be really cool. All right, to kind of follow the charmer story and so forth, but you need to centralize on something. Basic storytelling 101 here is, you know, you need to have a main character. I don't think telling a story through the eyes of four characters is necessarily something that they would want to do. Now, interestingly enough, you could also explore the world of IP and SP Little Knight, because keep in mind that lore does have tie-ins to Psyframes, Time thieves. Uh, you could also do a cheeky story about the evil tubers. You know, you know the evil twins, the live twins. There's there's a lot of things that could be left to be explored in that world as well. But they they could also find a way to bring multiple lures together. I mean, Vice's Starfrost is the most recent lore I can think of out here. And we've, well, actually, and this, uh, the sinful spoils with the Abel Star, but both of those I don't think are on the block for this either. It doesn't make sense for, basically, you can tell those stories in Master Duel. Also, I feel like the more cards that they have, so this is back to, like, the Fallen of Albaz thing. If the story already feels defined, I don't think they're going to write a manga about it. So, you know, back to, you know, the whole branded storyline. Most of that's already written. They, there's not really much of a reason, if you can see the star 10, for them to toss in new characters. Via where you saw what they were doing with Sky Striker, you know, they, they had the storyline, a, a war field. You know, so you can write the war. You can, this story is purposely left open for them to explore. And that's why I thought Burning Abyss would be a good candidate for this. You know, you you can talk about, you know, Dante's journey and things like that, but I also don't think I still don't think that really lives up to what they're aiming for. You know what I mean? So I guess my my question out of all of this is what do you think is going to be the next OCG side story? What do you? What is the next piece of lore that they can explore that has not? Key here is it has not been explored enough to the point to really do things. They're not going to do purely. I don't think Labyrinth is a candidate for this. Um, it has to set up such an amazing story that the the people have to be captivated by the tale. And the only other real thing that I can think of would be diving into the world of Dual Terminal and trying to tell a story from there. I think that would be really, really cool. But then you're going to have people going, oh my gosh, you know, like, well, you know, Dual Terminal did teach us one thing. There's a lot of death in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! And a lot of fighting. And, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh! has its godlike figures. So... What do you want to see? Well, I guess question is, what do you want to see? And what do you think realistically is going to happen? What do you think the next tale is going to be? And it's going to be, we're going to be seeing this for probably the next two to three years. So let's see what those guesses can do. So please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a good rest of your day. All right. Patrons. Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.